But whether they will use those tools with genius is quite unpredictable. We got it all, baby. I mean, obviously, it's going to be called Dora. Dora's going to fill up my backpack <laughs> with the things that I need every day. But it got me thinking, ever since CreateMod added these toolboxes, you guys have been haunting me, saying I need to start using them because it's a better way to do things. And I think in this case, you may be right. Because we can set this up to just stock the toolbox. Now, you know what? We'll put that there. Now I have a step and I can climb up here. I don't have to jump anymore. Actually, the toolbox is very useful. All jokes aside, I prefer the backpack. The toolbox can be used in place of what I'm going to do today with the backpack. And if you prefer the toolbox, by all means, go for it. I'm going to have the backpack with this upgrade in there. It allows me to pick block kind of the same way you can do with the toolbox. And it's just a preferred method of how I like to do things. So, so far, I've taught this thing that andesite alloy can make shafts, right? Check this out. Use mechanical crafter. We already set up the crafter so it knows we have andesite and it can send it to the crafter and it will make shafts. Sick. So freaking sick. Now, we take these dudes, the factory gauge, right? These are linked to my network, meaning you have to hold them in your hand and right click them onto a stock link. Put this dude here, boom. And I say, we want to hold shafts in my backpack, boom. We take the backpack away, right? Put that there. We want to go like this. We want to hold one stack of shafts in the backpack. We're going to take them out of there. Notice no shafts are in the backpack. I take the backpack and I put it down here. And it should read that. It's dark out. It's missing. Gotta tell it. Send it to Dora. Thank you. What do you mean inactive, bro? Send it to Dora. Thank you. It's getting dark out again. Are you gonna do the thing? Can I sleep soon, please? Boom. Shafts go in the backpack. And it now knows we don't need any more shafts, but because it's short shafts, it's going to start making more. Sick. I'm going to make it so I can have all these parts, pieces, and things in my backpack, meaning I have room for four, eight, twelve things here, and I can add another one here, another one here, and we can fill our backpack with all the things that we need to play around in the create mod. I won't bore you with setting up the crafting tree. Maybe I should show you at least one so we're clear on how that works. Inventory. This, this, and this. Boom. We're gonna go here. I'm going to say, where do I want to do this? The cool thing is you can actually pick these up and move them. So what I'm about to do right now isn't the most important step in placement. Logs. Yes? And now we need another one. We're going to say logs equal planks. Boom. Right? Click on this dude. We want to add a connection. We're going to click over here. Boom. And then we're going to click back here. We're going to say use mechanical crafting. So that just set that recipe. And then we're going to send it to crafter frog. He's linked over here. Sends it into the mechanical crafter. And then we're going to set a stock limit here. I'll hold down right click the whole time. And I'm going to say keep 10 stacks in the deal. And it's going to send logs from my tree farm over boom you don't want to do that right now do you he can't swim <laughs> that stinks sends logs over from my tree farm boom it's gonna eat them send them in the deal and it's gonna craft planks for me till this is filled and then i can set up gearboxes cogs the whole nine shoot them right into my backpack 
I said it, folks. Peace. One in the chin. <laughs> but dude, wouldn't it be better if you send the log through the soil to make the plank? This is gonna take six years. And you would be correct. <laughs> but on the toolbox. Nah. Oh yeah, real quick. One last side note. I was under the assumption that in setting these things up, you could do it like mad scientist style, you know what I mean? Like the shaft connected to the plank makes the cogwheel. And that was my first attempt at doing it. And it really borked the system, meaning it was sending in one corporal box 60 shafts with two planks to make a large cogwheel. And this thing didn't know what to do with that, so it just stopped working. So my solution to that was just set up individual crafting trees for each recipe that you want to make. You get what I'm saying? Like have this make the shaft, have that make the plank. Don't tie into them and pull from them. Just start with plank, shaft, make cogwheel. Dig it? Peace. Or on second thought, <laughs> I'm not quite sure because check this out, right? I want to make gear boxes, right? I have the recipe here. Boom, this dude is using the mechanical crafter four cogs one andesite casing make one gearbox yes let's cancel this one hit go it crafts right sends all the stuff over boom cog wheels waiting for the andesite casing boom andesite casing goes into the repackager and then it sits here on the belt you want to know why <laughs> Because if you look at the cardboard box, there's 41 andesite casings in here and four cogwheels. So, okay, what do we do to fix this? Let's put this stuff back in here. And my thought was, all right, maybe because I'm not using a create inventory here, right? I have this functional storage dude. So if we put this dude on here, analog lever, and then we go boom, and we're going to turn this dude down right so the priority is lower than what I have in my main storage yes because I've been putting stacks of 41 in there as this has been failing so we clear this again boom send it what do you do now It's still sending the andesite from over there. Maybe I don't understand how this system works, or it's quite possible that this is just not hashed out yet, and this is a bug. Wake me up when it's fixed. Peace.